This is Green Beat for a healthier planet. Charo Gumbau used to engage in illegal poaching in the Arubuko Sokoke forest. Now, instead of a gun, he carries a net. He says that by farming butterflies, he helps reduce forest logging and destruction because he gets money from butterfly farming. Gumbau is one of the farmers for the Kapepeo Butterfly Project, which was started more than 20 years ago to help provide sustainable livelihoods in the largest remaining coastal forest in East Africa. Butterfly chrysalises are exported from Kapepeo to exhibits all over the world. Esther van der Westhuizen owns a butterfly park in South Africa. The flight period there where the insect has these beautiful wings can be 4 to 14 days. So butterfly parks must get in butterflies every week. The Kapepeo Butterfly Project now has about 300 butterfly farmers, more than a dozen of whom used to be illegal loggers. I'm Rebecca Ward for VOA's Green Beat.